In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a more structured and controlled pipe network by using Typhlo. Within this example, I'm going to send the Typhlo particles out to a target object and then create the spline from these particles making a less random result in comparison to the previous Typho example that presented the splines going in all x, y and z directions within the scene. I'm going to start by dragging in a birth icon. Then I'm going to go down and add to the modifier stack a position icon to surface. And then again, I'm going to create the tie flow icon, which I can pick and select as the surface object. I'm just rescaling this to the same size as the building roof. And just adjusting it and putting it in the correct location. Now I still haven't made the position icon that surface yet, so I need to just pick that before I can see the birth elements. Now in this example I want the birth elements to be a lot less than my previous example, as I just want a few pipes to be coming out of the top of the building height. I'm now just going to add in my forces to affect the particles. Just doing this by increasing the strength, adjusting the built-in wind, And they're going to go down and add a fine target. And I have to do a similar thing to before, I have to make another tie icon. And position that in a spot where I want those particles to be directed to. So now if I just pick that, you can see the particles are attracted to that tie icon. I'm now just going to put a spline path modifier and I just have to go to create new and you see those spline paths are starting to head towards that tie icon. Now it's just a matter of adjusting those parameters until you get a sort of shape that you want for your project. Okay, now you can kind of see that I've got a shape that I want. And now I'm just going to go into the spline paths and into the modifier. And I'm just going to add a radius to those splines. Just reduce that down to a shape that looks similar to a pipe. I'm now just going to go to the modifier and add an edit mesh and select by element. Now I can select these individual splines separately and I can edit those however I want. Here I'm just deleting them 
and I kind of just want one for this example so I've just selected this one element here and just showing you how you can move it around you can also rotate scale that you could add, add a poly to that you could adjust the different elements But that's how I've made more controlled tie flow splines in my scene and coming from my buildings.